Hello friends, uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project Garmin Shop Management System and uh, I have developed this project in Python, Django and MySQL. The version for the Python I am using is the Python version 3 and the MySQL version is 5.6, Django version is 2. For connecting database with my uh, with Python and Django, means MySQL connection has been done through MySQL connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website or you can easily install using the pip. right? So for front-end development, it's a web-based application. That's why for front-end development, I'm using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used like uh, calendar plugins, form validations, creating drop-down menus, and many more uh, for giving some good effects inside the project, right? So this is all about the technology stacks, which I have, which I have used for developing this project Garmin Software Management System, right? So let's start with the functionality go through. So the project title is Carpet Shop Management System and it's a Python Django MySQL web-based mini DBMS project, right? Web-based mini DBMS project because it's a database management system type of project where uh, we are performing the CRUD application over it, right? So this is the home page of the project. So you can see this is a simple store home page, right? If you want to change the content, then you can change the content from the HTML page. This is the about page and it's also a static page and if you want to change the content you can change it from the html this is a contact us and uh, this is also a static i am not saving the value of this contact us anywhere into the database also i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page so you can treat it as a static page also <clears throat> this is a login so this is a dynamic page and if you enter the invalid user id and password then you will not be able to access the internal pages because it's the dynamic page so for logging inside the system you must have the user id and password though so the user is admin and the password is test once you log inside the system you will get the dashboard <coughs> right so this is the admin dashboard where admin can perform these operations right admin can add the garment admin can add the garment cells admin can see all of the garment details admin can all of see all of the cells details at cells history and we can change the password too. So these operations that we can perform. Let me go through one by one. So home, I already explained you dashboard. This is the dashboard. This is the add garment, <coughs> right? So the same menu is available in the header bar. So this is add garment from where admin will be able to uh, add any number of garments, <coughs> right? So this is a garment name, cost, type, company and stock. So admin can add in number of garments. This is a garment details from where uh, admin will be able to see all of the products uh, which uh, he has added so currently we have added eight products with eight garments products uh, inside the database and this page is totally dynamic and all the records are coming from the database right so you can edit it so you can edit it and you can update it even if you want to delete it you can delete it here from also right so this is the add garment this is the garment details means garment report this is add sales this so is a sales ad and for starting the sales and getting the sales dashboard you need to enter the customer name and the mobile so i am entering the customer name and the mobile anything you can enter and once you click on the ad then you will get the sales dashboard from where you will be able to select the products and you can add it into the cart right so from here you can add so this one choose product add right this is a add this one right this okay like this one right so these five products i have added and total amounts are calculating automatically right so you can see the products uh, cost is calculating automatically so total this is a cost which you have entered at the time of garment ad and total cost is five thousand rupees once you click on the save order the whole page will be saved and you can see it you can find it in the sales details tab or uh, later right so once you click on the save order, so you can see this is the order number seven and this is the full sales history, right? So this is the sales details, add sales, right? Already explained you, this is sales details. So these all sales you have made and once you click on the view order, you will be able to see the details of that order. This is our past order details, right? And uh, if you want to see any of the order details, you can see it from here, right? So there is no order, right? Like this one, right? So this is add sales and this is a sales detail, sales history page. This is a change password from where Adam will be able to update his account password. And after updating his account password, he will be able to log in with his updated password. The old password will not work, right? This is a logout. Once admin log out from the system, the above menu will not be displayed, right? So because it's a session driven, let me show you. So logout, 
the above menu is not displaying if i log in the above menu is displaying right log out not displaying if i log in then it's displaying right so this is totally session session driven right so this is all the functionalities which i have developed in this project garment shop management system as i told you earlier this is a web based mini python django and dbms project right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technology thanks for watching the video thank you very much